Hi everybody! How you doing? Last Outrider here bringing you my third in my Space Wolf uh, Trinity series. Uh, the Murder Fang. The first one is going to be the Storm Wolf, followed by the Storm Fang, and now the Murder Fang. Make sure to check out all three because you put them together and it's insane. So what is the murder fang? Well, you'll find out with a little fluff right now. <clears throat> the metal-skinned monster of the curse-born prophecy must once have had a name, for it resembles a space wolf dreadnought. Yet, the identity of the once noble hero within its sarcophagus is long lost. Consumed by the bestial thing that now leers from its facade, named Murderfang by the Space Wolves, it is a force of untamed destruction. In times of great strife, the machine beast is released from its glacial prison and set upon the foe, and it will claw and stomp and bite until nothing is left but ruin. At battle's end, the Space Wolves will freeze it with Hellfrost technology, hoping that Murderfang's wrath can be stayed for long enough to see it contained once more in the caverns beneath the Fang. Yet all know that as the time of ending or the wolf time, approaches, the white heat of its rage will be needed more than ever. Boom. So let's look at the thing. What is it? What is a murder fang, you might be asking after that? Well, let's see. It has a weapon skill of five, a ballistic skill of three, a strength of six, it has a front armor of 12, side armor of 12, rear armor of 10, an initiative of four, an attack of four and three hull points. It is a walker vehicle and a character. It has one, there's only one of it, so it's unique. Its war gear is a searchlight and only a searchlight. Special rules. It comes with furious charge. My personal favorite, it will not die which is insane, Rage and Rampage. It also comes with Murder Lust. What is that, you ask? Murder Fang ignores the effects of Crew Shaken or Crew Stunned, but it will still use a hull point if they get this uh, result. Options. It may select a drop pod as a dedicated transport. So, what else does it come with, if that's not enough, you ask? Well, it comes with Relics of the Fang, which are Murder Claws. These fearsome claws of enchanted alien ice can carve through flesh and armor with equal ease. Each Murder Claw is a melee weapon, with the following profile. One incorporates built-in Storm Bolter and the other one a built-in Heavy Flamer. They have Strength 7, AP 2, Melee Weapon, Master Crafted, Shred, and Specialist Weapon. Wow! So, what do, you, what do you do with this thing? Let's... <laughs> okay, the Murder Fang has more attacks than a regular Dreadnought, which are further augmented by the Rage and Rampage special rules. Add into this the Paired Murder Claws, and he'll receive at least seven attacks on the charge, and up to ten if you pile him into a combat where he's outnumbered, which should not be too difficult considering that he's only one model. 
So unless you're only charging one model, he will always be considered outnumbered. With so many attacks, some of them are bound to cut somebody in half. Add in his high weapon skill and the fact that the murder claws are master crafted and they have and have shred and you'll be hitting and wounding around seven strength eight AP2 attacks a turn against almost any opponent in the game. That's enough to basically destroy units in one turn. Or, or at least you're knocking them below half, half strength for point consider victory point consideration. The, the preferred targets for uh, the Murder Fang would be a unit that he cannot kill in a single turn. If he hits a small unit and wipes it out, he'll be left standing in the open, waiting for somebody to shoot him in the face. The perfect target for most players after they see after they watch you kill a whole unit in a single turn. So what you want to do is not wipe out a unit in one turn. I know you think it's cool. Don't do it. You want this guy locked in hand-to-hand -hand combat protected from firing shots and anything else like that as much as you can throughout the game. That's where he will shine. So get him into a unit of 10 or more models such as uh, Space Marines, Necron Warriors, Wraith Guard, and hope that he kills enough to win, but not enough to break them. He can then finish them off in your opponent's turn. That's the point. You see, you want to slaughter most of them in your turn and then leave a model or two left to be finished off in your opponent's turn and then you can charge him off to somebody else when it's your turn next. You get the trick there? So, uh, watch out for power fists and power claws hidden in enemy units because they can cut his rampage short pretty quickly. Now, <clears throat> as for how to equip a murder fang with a drop plod, okay, that, that, that gets a little more tricky. Um, this means that in turn one, murder fang can arrive right at the heart of the enemy where he'll be perfectly placed to wreak havoc unless your opponent can wipe him out quickly. If he start, if he's part of an alpha strike alongside Wolfguard or other Dreadnoughts, then that's the ideal way to play him. Do not be one of those people that drop the Murder Fang in the middle of enemy lines all by himself because you think you've got an unbeatable beastie. No. Always use him as part of a strategy. So if you have a lot of other infiltrating or drop potting or whatever deep striking units, place him in the middle of them. And then have him charge in the hand to hand, like I said before, to keep him protected from ranged fire. But do not just drop him in the middle of a battlefield hoping that you'll be able to, he'll just be able to survive until you kill something. Not a good strategy. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, also, remember, Murder Fang is a character. So, he can single out the best armed enemies in an enemy squad. This is very important. And usually neutralize their power fists or melt bombs before they can even get a hit on him. So, feel free to charge right in and say, Who has melt bombs who has a power fist? Who has a power claw? Who has anything that has the ability to cut through my armor if they get an attack in? And kill them first, pointing out that he's a character. Bam! Do this! And you will see just how nasty this guy can be. I tell you this because, you know, now that I made my Karn's Butcher Horde video, you'll be needing this guy. Until next time, bye! <laughs>